Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collective podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons, terrorize! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to TFYLP episode number 339, uh, recorded Ju uh, July 27th, 2019. Oh, wow, that got really loud really quick. <laughs> uh, did you turn up a volume or something? Uh, there we go. Um, anyway, <laughs> we are live from... Uh, uh, Partially from TF Expo uh, in Kansas City. I uh, want to welcome uh, Lucas and Anna. And uh, yeah, it looks like John Bailey there. Hi. Uh, you're muted. Your audio is muted. Yes, you're muted. All right, can you hear us now? Ah, yes, you blew my eardrums up. Okay. So we have a debate. Is it Duran or Duran? Duran. I've been saying it wrong for like five years. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, it, it's better than uh, than Orson with Captured Prey for uh, for like a year. He uh, uh, he called me Ron. And, <laughs> and the well, thing is, and, and the thing is, is I never told him otherwise. And then he uh, one day he just suddenly realized it, and he's like, "Mother, yeah." <laughs> but yes. <laughs> Also with us is uh, Christian Russell. Hello. Oh, your audio is like really loud. I, I, why is everybody's audio really loud? I don't know. So, so uh, we're pumped through the AV system right now, and I apologize because um, the microphone that I had ordered did not come yet. Um, so we're actually on my computer microphone. So if the sound is horrible, I am so sorry. Well, actually, for now, you're you're sounding all right. But uh, also joining us is Rick Alvarez. Hey, greetings, Good people of Earth. And uh, let me make sure we are uh, going on the social media platforms. Uh, if you, uh, yeah. if you're watching us on Facebook, on YouTube, or on Twitch, uh, you can comment. I think it's too loud on the video. Uh, Lucas, you want to tell us how the show's been going? Uh, what, uh, anything, uh, any casualties, any casualties? Yes. Um, yeah, so we, we are actually about ready to wrap up the show here. So the last thing we have is the dinner tonight, which will be after the podcast. Um, but otherwise the, the vendor room just closed. And, uh, so yeah, so it's been a pretty, pretty fun couple days. Um, so we did a, um, you know, preview last night and then as we've been running all day, um, so, so yeah, it's been a, it's been a good show overall. So no one's died so. <laughs> yet. Yeah. Yet. Uh, what has been your purchase? What's the biggest thing you bought this week on? Say, uh, I guess if I go, um, I did. I got a universe like uh, Minicon Devastator. Sweet. The yeah. MicroMaster, the MicroMaster Devastator. Right. That was the only. Yeah. So that was my big purchase for the weekend. Okay. Anna, um, did, you, did you buy anything? Um, I bought all the exclusives. That's that's one thing. Um, okay. I got a piece of art from Alex Mel. That was fun. Um, yeah, that's all. I, I got another Rock Lord. Rock Lord. Oh, Rock Lord. Yes. Rock Lord. Recorded, right, guys? John, did you buy anything, or did people just, like, thrust free stuff upon you for, like, a picture? I, wa I mean, don't get me wrong. I wanted to buy stuff, but then that would defeat the purpose of coming. <laughs> uh, I did buy uh, I did buy a Beast Wars Megatron, the dragon version for my son, who was doing really well for my wife this weekend, so... Oh, and I got it for a good deal for only twenty bucks, so I, hopefully he won't tear it apart in the first day he gets it. <laughs> yes, excellent. Yeah. 
Please don't tell me a poor small child. Yes. Psychons. <laughs> um. So, uh, uh, John, how has how has been your how, yeah, how has your experience at TF Expo uh, been? So it's far? the worst. These guys are horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. Hey, that's why I won't go. <laughs> that's why you won't go. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. No, it's been great. Family doesn't mean I'm a horrible person. It's uh, it's been great, man. I had a, a lot of. A lot of good, a lot of good folks came by the table. A lot of people had no idea that I work on anything other than internet videos, which is pretty common these days. Uh, yeah, and it's nice to get back in the south a little bit, where I can actually eat Chick Fil A and not be ashamed. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> it's all I've about it's all about the southwest. It's all about the spicy southwest salad. Uh, that's my favorite thing on their menu. <laughs> I used to work at Chick Fil A a long time ago, believe it or not. Really? No, uh, yeah, I was a kitchen manager. Actually, I was I was a kitchen manager back when my wife first found out about the studio that kind of got me my, my first start in professional voiceover. So, um, but yeah, that was like 12 years ago, 11 years ago. But yeah, no, it's been great. It's been a lot of fun. I think Dan Gilbertson's mad at me, though. He doesn't talk to me at all. Oh, no. I guess he's mad he wasn't Bumblebee in the movie. I have no idea. <laughs> They put Alex in between us. Like they didn't put the voice actors together. What was up with that? Three well, tables. Everybody was together. There was like three. Whatever. Three he was like a million miles away uh, from me. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's not quite like uh, when I went to TFCon in LA. There was like the the whole room was like surrounded. Yeah. In, in guests, and then Ridiculous. it went spilled out out to the hallway, yep. and there was like all the way around the hallway. So yep. like literally. It was. Yeah, they had us shoved back in the corner. Like people didn't even know we were there because we were like so far out of the way. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. It was crazy. Um, but, but yeah. So this honestly though, this was been. This has been a nice recovery convention because I did San Diego Comic Con last week. Oh my oh, word! Like, my wow. my ankles are still like, killing me from the fifteen miles a day it takes to do San Diego Comic Con. Oh, but hey, I got to see Unicron in person. You guys didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm jelly. Uh, yeah, we're hoping it gets funded. Let, let me ask John this: Did you put in for Unicron? Uh, I'm gonna. Whenever. I mean, now that they paid me to be here, maybe I can find. <laughs> So that's fifty bucks right there, right? So five dollars to to kickstart Unicron. <laughs> right. Oh. All right. That's really cop. <laughs> yeah. So we just want to make enough money to put in for Unicron, but there's there's only three thousand backer positions open at this point. But they've already sold five thousand out of eight. Have, have they already sold five thousand? Five out of eight, man. It's going quick. Wow. Yeah. Last I looked, it was only eighteen hundred. No, last what? time I heard it was five thousand. Yeah, it was well, below two thousand earlier that's, today. Don't be lied to me. I think some of them. Somebody was. Let me let me check the current number. Maybe they're trying to get artificial scarcity. Yeah, right. right. It's at it's at two thousand. Right right I got a big money quick. Two thousand back. Yeah, they were they were they were a thousand off. Two three thousand off. Yeah. They just read the two up to down. I was getting nervous too. I was like, "Geez, that was so fast!" Like, well, now if, hurry they, up go, and if they go over the eight thousand, it's fine. You just have to fund yeah, they, it by they August the eighth. Yeah, this is the main thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I, I, I'm just. I'm really curious. I'm, I'm really curious as to any gimmicks or accessories because we haven't really seen like what it can. We've only seen the prototype. And, what it looks like and the size and the detail. Now we don't know all it's going to be able to do yet, or what it comes with yet. Which I'm I also heard the mouth opens. Was the mouth has open. Well, the planet mouth opens, and his robot mouth opens, and he's got the 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 grinders from the movie inside his robot mouth. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, and they've got the chompers inside of his planet mouth, which is very cool. But I don't know oh, if there's going to be more. Or not. Too, if you think about it. I just want to be able to remake that that Transformers movie poster with the actual toys. I want yeah. to do that so bad. And now I'll have to make a <laughs> Which means I'll have to buy two of them. <laughs> so I got one for the robot mode and one for planet mode. Yeah. Ah! Well, <laughs> uh, Rick, that's the question I have for you, Rick. Are you going to hang Unicron from your ceiling? Uh, no, I have a... Uh, well, I, I, of course, I have to be that guy that gets two. I have a giant uh, glass case that uh, my Lewin Optimus Prime is in. That's the four foot tall Masterpiece Optimus. 
I'm gonna move him to a different case, and I'm gonna put my robot mode Unicron there. I'm gonna think on top. I'll I'll put the planet. It comes with a massive stand. Like the stand is ridiculous. <laughs> it's so freaking heavy. Now, can yeah, it like, stand without that that stand? Like when in robot mode, or does it need the stand to? It was on the stand in the case, but that, that may have been because it was a prototype and not the finished version. So it probably you can kind of tell if you looked really close that it was not a completely finished toy. Cause there was there was a few gaps here and there, and the the back still looks kind of funky. It's kind of a shell former uh, like back plate deal going. But man, I've been waiting for a non fat Unicron that was a cartoon accurate for so stinking long. I passed on Armada Unicron. I passed on every other Unicron that's ever come out. Because they all look like they came out of Astro Boy with the giant round pot bellies. <laughs> it's like, that's not my Unicron. What does he look like? Ball? De Deluxe, Deluxe, Deluxe wow. Baldwin on YouTube uh, commented, I'm going to sleep with my Unicron. <laughs> well, I mean, it's hey, that's big my plan. <laughs> that's the only thing that's big enough for me to store it. I wouldn't recommend it, but... <laughs> hey, hey, Matt, does Belisa know? <laughs> He's a little I wonder. I wonder what the box is going to look like. I'm imagining it's going to be packaged in uh, in planet mode, and it's going to be a square box because that would take up the least amount of space. But then we're also talking. No, nah, I don't think so. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be in, in robot mode. I think they're yeah. going to. I think they're going to ship it like they did Fortress Maximus with the with the extra pieces for his. I don't know what to call it, wings. His, his, <laughs> yeah. Like faux probably wings. folded down or like except like Trypticon we had to put together. Probably yeah. something similar to that, because the honestly the planet mode is freaking, it's just so fat, dude. It's freaking massive. The box would be twice as big if they didn't do it in robot mode. They could do it much flatter and mm -hmm. just do tall instead. Um, the thing that impressed me the most that I really wanted was the display stand. The cardboard display stand had Unicron's head on it with the stuff coming down out of the neck. Oh, I'm wow. like. You guys aren't going to use this again, are you? Because I'll totally take this. If it's cardboard, you can just fold it down. I can put it back together. <laughs> Rick will fight no, you no, for it. No, this one was, uh, this <laughs> one was added on top of a box. I, I like, might have it coming. I want. I try. I tried to get Hasbro to give it. I tried everything I could. I was like, please let me have that have a cardboard head. I'll put it in my minivan. I don't care. <laughs> I can take that thing home. It was the size of this table. It was huge. It was bigger than the toy was. Wow. They get auctioned that. They definitely get like, it. Like, I wanted, I wanted to take it. was yeah. the cool, one of the coolest standees I've ever seen. <laughs> and it's, it's just cardboard. Like, just send us, the, send us the printout, and we can fold it up out of a box ourselves or something. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> if I were to be able to get the Unicron and everything, I, I would like to display it. I've got the, Cyber, the Cybertron Primus uh, that was at a Toys R Us here recently with the, the orange bits and everything. I would have that in planet mode. And then have him standing behind it with his uh, with his hand drawn back, like That'd he's getting cool. yeah. Problem is, in order to get a size accurate Cybertron to go with the size Unicron that they have, <laughs> so you would need one ten times bigger than that Primus toy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we gotta 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 use what we yeah. got. You know, I mean, you can do a for, force perspective, dude. Yeah. Force you get what you get. You, get, what you, get, you don't pull, get upset. Well, Lord of the Rings, and you can make it fit. We have to figure out repaints though for this thing, right? Oh, well, you got the, you got the translucent green one. You've got the Armada uh, colors. Uh, you got the, the the there were but, uh, versions of Unicron in the movie, right? I just hope it comes so, with a small version of Galvatron's ship as an accessory. That would be Rimlock. so freaking cool. Rimlock. You need the Grimlock to kick him in the butt. He may come None. with a little butt kicking grip. You know what? If they put a sound chip in this thing, I hope it has <laughs> Grimlock kick butt. <laughs> that would be so good. Uh, I want it to have Orson Welles in it. That that well, would just dead. So. Well, yeah. They'd have to use little, audio clips. Yeah. They well, obviously, they'd have to use the audio clips. <laughs> or they could just the find someone who does well. impressions who to do it they, for them. Who could they possibly get to do that? No, but I know Pro someone who does Probably a very Christian. good like, <laughs> If they don't get me for it, they should get Marisa Marsh for it, because he does a really good work. James, oh, James Earl Jones is Unicron. That's scary. Yes. Or Keith David. Keith David. James Earl Jones. Keith David could work, too. I've always loved Keith David's voice. I'm so sad that he didn't. That he was replaced as barricade in the games that made me angry, and the movie too, for that matter. Remember who you are, Galvatron. <laughs> <laughs> you are my son. <laughs> <laughs> Everything the mix touches. <laughs> <laughs> if, 
So, uh, do you I, guys want to talk about Transformers or the? Kingdom that's what we were talking about. Oh, I did. I did want to mention that Anna gave a wonderful panel, and John as well. Oh, okay. But uh, but yeah, Anna Anna did a a great panel. Presentation <laughs> and diversity, which we are positive towards. That's what you'll be show. called, Diversitron. <laughs> was it well attended? <laughs> was it what? Well attended. It was pretty well attended, yeah. I thought he said, was it well hidden? <laughs> it was not well hidden. We were right next door to the dealer's room. People could no, find no. us. Cool. No, any, any, awkward, uh, any awkward situations? At hey, the hey. <laughs> well, I allow full audience participation in my panels because I do them very similar to classes. So my life is an awkward situation. However, I think it went very well and audience participation was awesome and I personally had fun. And I hope that people will actually come back next year when I do a panel on robot butts. Robot um, butts? Ro I mean, what? Ro <laughs> what? Ro ro I'm like, did I hear that correctly? Is it a robot? <laughs> Anna, no. I'm not going to let that happen. It was like running back. That's, that's the line. That's the line. She likes big butts uh, and she cannot goat. lie. <laughs> I did mention to the panel right before we ended that next year I should do romantic relationships and Transformers. And the, the, the okay. crowd is supportive. Okay. To, to, to start, to, <laughs> there are only like three though. To start that <laughs> panel <laughs> out, to start that panel out, you need to play a video clip from the search for Alpha Trion whenever Optimus Prime plugs into the oh, yeah. and goes, "Oh." <laughs> it's like I can't believe that actually got I've been, through. I've been wanting to do a version of West Side Story where Optimus Prime's like, "Alita." I just met a bot named Alita. <laughs> I'm not a streetcar named Desire Optimus. Or Alita doing more the like, More like a street robot <laughs> named Desire. Well, speaking of audience participation, uh, our, our our lone audience member that's uh, that's there. Uh, what? Oh uh, no, we have we have uh, we we picked like a few people up. So, oh, uh, yeah. did you guys get lost? <laughs> yeah, uh, totally. The uh, yeah. but yeah, as I was saying, the dinner is right after this. So I think everybody's like trying to crash before dinner. So Re ready for food. Food is always good. Are, are they're on, they're on their, for the shuttle. They're, to go they're back regeneration to chambers. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, I had uh, I got hit with a Scott McNeil question in my panel. Oh, like, can really? you do? Can you do Soundwave and Shockwave and Optimus Prime having a conversation together? It's like, what do I look like, Scott McNeil? <laughs> <laughs> well, can you? Did you, you? Did you get the, uh, I can't. Uh, your character like, goes to uh, Burger King, McDonald's. What do they order through the drive-thru? That, see, that, if she'd give me a situation, that would have been much easier. She'd just say, have the a drive. conversation. <laughs> that was they like, oh. They, use it for the they actually uh, did have, Optimus Prime did go through Burger King's drive-thru. Do you guys yeah, remember that? I remember. A friend of mine asked why he did that. I said, well, I don't know who's guy, so he probably just walked and going out and pick up Sam. He was but... getting sandwiches from Mark Wahlberg. He just forgot to get the Wahlberg, you guys. Uh -huh. I, I already get all the free sandwiches I want, you guys. So I don't need anything, Doctors. Okay. I need all the protein you can get, guys, because you guys be picking some. <laughs> <laughs> it brings a new meaning to Wahlbergers. Exactly. That, that was cool. So I was wondering if you guys were interested in discussing the exclusives for TFX yes. post 2019. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anna, what are the exclusives? This is this. So. I'm, I'm <laughs> are you trying to change Can somebody the go grab here? an exclusive? <laughs> Don't even. I'm not trying to change the subject. Wait, I'm is that the subject. like not so subtle? Like, <laughs> oh, are we changing the subject now? Are we subtle? <laughs> when have I been subtle? <laughs> I don't know. When you get here. It's like we on TFYOP <laughs> are subtle as a sledgehammer. Do we want me to get the exclusives so we can show them on camera? Sure. Uh, you want we'll to. be right back after, we'll be right back well, after these messages talking, from the transport. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> so I like I like how after these messages. Anna's like, hey, is there something where I can like leave right now? <laughs> What it might not be about? right here. What are you talking about? It's not like that. Oh, you're you're like excuse. Like, <laughs> You're silly, Lucas. <laughs> like, I swear, I will be right back. That's what they always say in the I horror movies, too. Right be right back. After these messages, you'll be right back. 
I'm gonna start calling you Do Ryan. <laughs> He's always gonna be Ron to me. My name is Ron. <laughs> from, from the Family Guy when Meg. My name is Ron. <laughs> like I'm Ron Burgundy. Welcome to Transformers. Do you know what they said? Do we still have any exclusives left from the show this year? Uh, he did not say. These are Eric's of the Angel Band. Oh, okay. So. Well, they're not ours now. So. Yeah, so the exclusives this year, um, they actually did a pretty cool job on them. Um, so this one is a little Bumblebee um, uh, car. The, what we did was is we did some custom stickers for TF Expo. Um, so this is the... Uh, Wrong the, one. There you go. The TF Expo logo on them. And so th this is kind thing. of like one that was uh, for, for kids and all that. And then um, a couple other ones that we did were really cool. Um, this is a little Target Master guy. Do you know how many, uh, like, how many of each were made? <sighs> I, I There were sure. five made. <laughs> I, I'm not sure off the top of my head. Um, it, there may have been like, like 30. Maybe something like that. Maybe it was like thirty to fifty. Really well, I, I don't have an exact number. Well, well, you didn't have Sean McGinnis there helping with the customs this time, so because well, we actually, because he's we, a slacker, you know. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I just want to yeah. see. I just want to see Duran move his head again, like he's going to be able to see better. <laughs> he's like, oh, no, I, can say I can see better. <laughs> I know he's like turtle <laughs> superstition. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, this is our we we did a uh, he's doing it too. He's like, this guy this guy here we did a little custom pretender bumblebee and he came with um, a little head. <laughs> Can you see it, Duran? Is this no, uh, cool. So, but yeah, the, it was really neat because they actually printed up the um, like little custom cards for it and everything. They they kind of resemble the um, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, kind kind of resemble like siege packaging a little bit. I mean, not exactly, obviously, because this is not official. So no, is, no, it's this is, uh, it's just different enough. Just your cheat tour. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're. they're there are no Transformer logos on any of this stuff. And then we also, this is the custom class uh, figure, so we... Uh, why, is he yeah, pose, so, why is he pose so derpy, Lucas? <laughs> because uh, Anna didn't get to pose him, so... That's right. It's no good if I didn't touch oh, Anna, that should be your job exclusively. No one else should get to do that. But, right. but yeah, surprisingly enough, we got a great deal on some Moss yeah. Toys figures uh, for whatever reason. <laughs> and, <laughs> no, we, we actually, um, the, these figures, there's kind of a story uh, behind oh, these cool. from last year. We actually were wanting to yeah, do this. Get closer. Like, that'll... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you lost your head. He's like. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, these Moss Toys figures, we actually wanted to do these as an exclusive last year, and we had ordered custom heads for them. Um, we had like a Cheetor version, uh, we had a bumper version, and what was the third version? Hot Shot. Hot Shot. And so we, um, and we had custom stickers made up and all that type of thing with them. Um, but the problem was, is our heads, like we got them back from the, uh, 3d printing shop that we used and they were garbage. And so we had to redo them and, and all that type of thing. So and so we weren't able, yeah, they're junkie on. <laughs> so we weren't able to do them last year. And so then for this year, we ended up, uh, we thought it would be a good idea to use them as the custom class figure. Check out the awesome job they did on the Cheetor in its vehicle mode Ooh. though. Oh, wow. I like it. He is covered in spots. The visor has eyes. It is so cute. And the front has a little muzzle with a mouth. Oh, wow. It's so great. I, I, I kind of want that. <laughs> I am so happy I asked to get this thing. I didn't make it to the actual custom panel. So when I picked it up, it had everything on it. It is so cool. I'm so and then, thrilled. I, was say, I don't know if we have exactly. the little head. There, <laughs> you know, lost opportunity. There should have been a scrounge option. <laughs> Ooh, that would be fun. He's well, very, you can scrounge uh, to get him. Very scroungy. 
Should have been this, I'm sure that you can get a head off of Shapeways or something and, uh, you know, do that as well. So. Or Samus Head. Samus Head would be good, too. So, yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of good good options. but So, anyway, so those are the exclusives uh, for this year. So, um, but yeah, I don't know if, it, if there are any left. Uh, we will put them up online. Uh, we'll just have to go through to see, you know, what sold out and what didn't. Hey, uh, how many dealers do you did you have at the show? <sighs> okay, see, you're you're asking me numbers here, Rick, and uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of them. At least five. <laughs> oh, I it was closer to a dozen. No, I think it was probably crazy, like honestly. fifteen or so. Yeah, yeah. Um, over a dozen. So yeah, it was a, it was a really good room, and, and the guys that we had, the core guys, um, all bring a lot of good stuff. Um, so there was a lot of third party stuff. There was a lot of vintage G one. There was a lot of new stuff. I mean, it, it just kind of ran the gamut. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, it was uh, people were definitely had had their options to um, you know spend money. There was one Captain Power toy. Oh wow! <laughs> and I'll say when you come to a smaller event like this, you don't expect to find like rare or really like fancy stuff. But that was not the case this year. Like there was good selection. There was like crafts made. Like this one group was selling these really super cool custom pillows. Yep. Oh, yeah. I actually because bought the, one. It's the, so cute. The Decepticon the... cassette tape, tape pillows. Oh, they were so cool. The Decepticon mask. Do you have a name cool. on that? Um, I don't have their name. I don't have their name right now. Sorry, no free publicity for you guys. Maybe we'll Should've share it. I, I, yeah, we'll, we'll share it afterwards we'll share it. with the name because so they were pretty. really, really cool. Like they... There, there's a couple different, um, you know, artistic vendors that, that did a great job. That sounds awesome. Was there anybody there who could make a shock lock for us? <laughs> not quite. Not quite. We're not there yet. Someday. Next time, Gadget. Maybe it'll be the 2025 um, um, exclusive figure will be shock lock. <laughs> shock lock forever. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed you guys didn't play a game of bot shots, though. We actually you, you had, know how to play bot shots. We had bot. We've done that in the past. Where you throw the bot shot, the throw them into. The, if it lands in the shot, you get to drink it. Oh no! I don't think you've actually <laughs> had that. His face is that's fantastic. fantastic. Oh, I like that. Surely you wouldn't be doing it with bot bots. Suddenly I'm reengaged. It's like beer pong, but with bot shots. Well, the the show's not over yet. We still have the dinner. <laughs> tonight, so that's, that's a great anymore. idea. Yeah. So remember the good old days of cyber. <laughs> oh, <laughs> else I could go get now. <laughs> so we we did have cards against Cybertrons. Uh, oh, last yeah. So no, that would be fun. Was there for that one? That one, we stayed up late playing that one until like two thirty in the morning. Oh wow. wow! Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I bowed out myself. I was like, I'm done. So did I. Oh, you're just lame. You need to stay up to like four a.m. and get up at six. You know, that's the way it is at con. So a real man to do it. <laughs> I was in two a.m. yesterday. See, my brain was thinking, well, I should go to bed on my own time zone. So I was thinking Pacific time, but I forgot I needed to wake up on Central time. And like, crap. So it's like <laughs> 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, well, I guess I got to get up now. It's like, never mind the bags under my eyes. <laughs> exactly. That's what the cucumbers are for. <laughs> Not the one in the fridge, well, right? having an excellent time there. That's awesome. So, uh, so what's everybody's uh, uh, favorite thing that has been uh, announced recently, like at SDCC? Anybody? Have, any, something other than Unicron. Yeah, other than Unicron, obviously. Uh, One of our audience members just said Lancer, actually. All the Lancer. 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 Especially wrong. Oh, the Theocons! The what? So the the Seacons, the MicroMaster ten pack, uh, the wrong MicroMaster. Uh, that's a Battle Master. Or Battle Master. I'm all sorry. The MicroMasters and all the Battle Masters. Power Dashers. The Power Dashers. Yeah. I know things, but I can't tell you guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, we have a listener from. Uh, uh, we have a listener question from YouTube. Uh, Quinturion asks uh, John. Uh, since you're being the next prime, are you ready to sleep in planes? Am I? Who said I'm the next prime? 
I'm right. the understudy, and I'm totally happy being the understudy. As long as I'm keeping Peter Kyle in cold storage. I, uh, I don't mind planes. It's not my most fun trip, but I, yeah, I'll freaking ride in planes if I'm needed. But yeah, they, uh, there, there's no telling where. I mean, they've got somebody for Cyberverse. It's not me, so there's no guarantee that's going to happen. That, now, the what is it? The uh, the the next trilogy that you're the understudy for, or I don't know. I, I I found out about that show two three years ago, and I tried my best to get auditions for it, and nobody seemed to know where the auditions were going. And I finally found some friends of mine that actually got auditions and tried to just track down the source till I finally end up on LinkedIn <clears throat> to find out. And by that time, it was too late. So I don't know what's going to happen with it. Hmm. Well, see, so you're you're still. I mean, they haven't. The they have. There's movies, though, right? There's no way that they've recorded like everything yet. I don't think so. Maybe there's. I, I I'm hoping there's still a possibility that there's some room, at least for me to audition. If not, you know, I'm not. I'm not going around going, give me a roll, you know. <laughs> I'm just like, at least let me try, you know. Uh, I I am open to work on any of the movies or anything. I haven't heard anything, and even if I did hear anything, I couldn't tell you guys publicly. Sorry. <laughs> it's called NDA. <laughs> it's called yeah. It's called I live my life under nine school. I've got really cool things I could talk about, but it won't because I don't have enough money to pay for a ten thousand dollar fine and throw my career away. <laughs> <laughs> So just feign excitement at the same time. Yeah, I have, right you have no idea how good of an actor I am because I'm controlling how excited I am about things that you guys don't even know about yet. So believe me, I'm putting on an Oscar-worthy performance right now just to contain myself over what's coming, guys. It's like, hey, guys, I'm really, really excited about this redacted. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Name and address withheld. <laughs> this letter comes from Name and Address Withheld. <laughs> TFLP episode 339 redacted. Redacted, yes. Yeah, I could write it down, but it would look like one of those sheets from the X Files. <laughs> so, so what do you think? What do you guys think are going is going to be found when these millions of people rush Area 51? Uh, they're not. Are they're we, not rushing Area 51. They're running by it for, yeah, no, for 5K not. for yeah. charity. I, I, I just see it. They're going to come out for five thousand people. I, I just see it as as moving target practice for you know for the guards. You know, I I feel like in general that everyone talks a big game on the internet, but then when they actually it's time to show up, no. like no. Nah, oh. I'm out. It started as a joke. You're saying people actually are the crazy people the are probably already there. <laughs> they're, they're, they're already, already there. there. Right, the real area is Area 52. I think some idiot on the internet probably said, let's just rush Area 51. They can't stop us all and just turn into the thing. <laughs> that was his joke that started the thing. Some moron just like, that'd be funny to say. <laughs> They're not even there, dude. They're at Area 57.3 now. I mean, we have no idea where they're at. Area 51 is basically just an airport now. Area 69. Oh, my goodness. Lost all control, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Going it would, yeah. It would, we got it, people yep, that are on so the podcast. podcast it, right it, now, so. it wouldn't be TFYLP if we didn't lose control. You know, it's like true. Well, wasn't the easy answer Megatron? I mean, like, like couldn't someone have just said Megatron? We make trips. That, that's that's the Hooper Dam. Dam. That's what I was getting at. Is like the Hooper Dam frozen in carbonite. That's what I was getting at. Is that if if, if they if they if they storm Area Fifty One, are they going to find real life Transformers? You know what? I can't believe Transformers has has yet to put Mount the Mount St. Hillary in Area 51. <laughs> and that's, they built Area 51 around it. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Don't give Michael Bay any ideas. <laughs> yeah, we don't know if he's involved in the future. So, oh, he's always going to be involved. Well, I mean, he may produce it. That doesn't mean he's going to be as involved. We don't know. We don't know the future. Right. Things change. Fight the future. <laughs> <laughs> Are, are you situated, uh, Christian? I just want to make sure I didn't roll over the cat. Oh. That, that would be bad. By the way. So, so, uh, yeah. Lucas, this might, this might be for you. Uh, rarest, most obscure item found in the dealer room. Uh, let's see. We had... There's, there's some Diaclone items. There's some... Um, uh, 
gosh, what was the other? There was there was some brave stuff there, Duran. Oh. I think wasn't there a Sky Gary? And then what was the other one at the other booth? I was trying to think. There was um. Uh, there wasn't there a victory uh, victory saber. Yeah. Yeah, there was. There was a victory saber. Two victory sabers. Oh, two. Leo, too, right? there, there was a two victory sabers so, and a matrix. So, John, do you do you have like an area that you focus on for Transformers? Like, I only collect generations. I collect G one. Or are you like, are you a man of the world? Uh, I, I'm a very specific collector. I generally, personally, just collect the masterpiece stuff. Um, but I buy the generations and all the other stuff to review, make videos and photos with, and then give them to my kids or sell, sell them or give them away. So I still collect pretty much everything across the board, but my own personal collection is just the masterpiece stuff. Um, other than that, I have a very small generation one collection that I'm slowly trying to, to put together where I'm trying to build my own tiny little museum where I have one mitten box, one vehicle, one robot <laughs> mode of each character all the way from the original generation one line to the end. And that's going to take the rest of my life to complete. So <laughs> Morgan Collier can help you with that. I'm sure he could for a small fortune. I am ratchet.com. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know one of his, uh, Oh, go ahead. Does that include third-party masterpiece? Nah. No, I wouldn't. Why I, not? I, it, the only third-party figure that I have is my masterpiece G1 Omega Supreme because they just haven't made one yet. Um, and it's a man. It is a hefty, beefy, solid figure for it's a third-party. The figure. Gabriel figure. But the problem is he won't fit on the top shelf with my other Titans because he's about a half a foot too tall. So he's squatted down and in baseball catcher position. <laughs> He's just like this. <laughs> oh, he's literally squatting down over so everybody. Basically, else. a Pat Lee pose. Kind of. Yeah. So, um, any, anytime I, I buy a third party, a third party figure, it's basically just a place card holder for the real thing. Because I've I've always been an advocate for the real deal. You know, especially when you work for him, you don't want to be like, well, I love you and I love working for you, but I bought all this knockoff stuff because you don't make it. <laughs> don't bite the hand that feeds you. You know what I mean? I was going to ask if that was the reason. Main reason why? Yeah, I don't want to. I mean, I'm not going to go around promoting somebody that's not their official thing and yeah. the, expect the expect the official thing to hire me for anything at all. What was there was an actual video. I can't remember what it was, but it was several years ago. There was a actual video from Hasbro where one of the uh, the guys was talking, and and in behind him there was a third party figure standing on the the ledge uh, in his cubicle. Oh, there there there's been a couple of those. There was like some advertising, and it was like a father and a son playing, and they were playing with like a Devastator from. It was like a third party Devastator they're playing with. I think that was the Make Toys one. I remember that. And then Earth Wars, the game has uh, Feral Rex in it, as opposed to any other Predakings. Yeah. Well, and I, I think wah, some of that. Is, bro, <laughs> I, I swear, a third party figure made it into like on Instagram or something like that for Hasbro as well. Oops. Like it wasn't like they weren't featuring that, but it was like kind of in the background, like a promotional thing. Yeah, they they made it onto some you know IDW comics before you know. Well, I know there's, there's figures made from IDW. But I know a lot of people that do the designing, and I know a lot from the design team in general. And I mean, I would assume, I would assume that they would be checking out third party toys just to know their competition and know <laughs> what's out there and what's being sold, and if, if there's a big enough market for them to do something for it. Because I've I've seen in the past where a great third party figure would come out, and then Hasbro would turn around and make that figure within the next year because they saw that there was there was money to be made from it. And they, they would produce... Because, I mean, th th remember when the competition kind of broke out with all the giant Devastators? And there was like three different versions of them. And Hasbro's like, now there's one. like 10. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Hasbro's version was a third of the price. So, yeah, that's. I think that they need to know what's going on with other things that they're not making to see what people want to buy. Because if, if there's money to be made from it, they'll do it. I mean, look at Unicron. I, I think I mean, that's why we got Combiner Wars. So, so the loyalty thing is really interesting right now, right? Because everyone's talking about the possible um, Unicron wars that are going to break out because we have our our Hasbro Unicron currently in kickstarting and then a certain company dropping pictures. Uh, Zeta, Zeta Toys. Zeta yeah. Toys has been teasing a Unicron. 
they've dropped the head and some shoulder spikes. So yeah, there's well, at least they no, at least they're at least it's not going to have dandruff, you know. Yeah. The well, the uh, pictures are out there for the robot mode. The the pic the pictures dropped the last couple of days for the robot mode. Uh, okay. so it, it doesn't have any. It doesn't have the kibble. The back kibble. Everything's yeah, very but that's flush. The render. They're like they haven't actually shown yeah. an actual figure yet. So it's like so, yeah, you, you can put no kibble on it with if it's just the 3D model. I'll be honest. Even with the even with the prototype version, the back doesn't look bad. Honestly, I kind of like the way. Because if there's stuff underneath there that they're hiding with that backpack thing, I, I'd I, rather have... I think kind of the much. big problem people were having was all those panels sandwiched on the back of the legs. That's the biggest... Uh, biggest but really? Um, that the Beast Wars Megatron has a bunch of panels, too. It didn't look bad. Honestly, I saw it from the front end. I, if you go to my TikTok page, and like I did two full videos, full 360 around the whole thing at the, at the display cases, the legs didn't stand out to me at all. I didn't even notice until you just now mentioned them. It looked great. fine to me. I mean, I've seen other versions of you know the crown in the past that were not near as good as this one. So, what people are really hoping for is that you can remove the panels so that they pop off like Megatron does, like the Beast Wars Megatron, which would be cool. And I think that would make people happy, like kind of best of both worlds thing. Is I do think people are going to be kind of lured away by the possibility of a kibble free. Which I don't think is actually going to happen. No. Like I think when they really finish it, it will have just as much kibble or look that much worse in order to account for it. Because what I've heard is that those bot mode pictures we're seeing are actually older design pictures that are still 3D well, rendered. From what, like, I, <laughs> what I understand, a lot of those uh, those designs are actually years old that were that, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. long, so, long time ago. This Hasbro one is something that they have made a physical, touchable, movable like I said, version of. It did not of. look bad it's to me. Real. It looked great. <laughs> Even the the unfinished version. And there's, you know, there's going to be freaking stickers and color changes and a lot of other cool little gizmos and gadgets they'll add to it. So, I mean, I'd I'd buy the version I saw right now. It was that good. Like, yeah, and, and honestly, you're not going to you're not going to display it from behind. So, what does it matter what's on the back? Right. Yeah, who displays his butt? <laughs> like, unless they were just putting a little tiny Grimlock on there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, so some of my figures are in action poses, so their butts are showing. So well, they have well, I mean, it's like, it's like action just poses. Uh, turn him around and have him, like, grabbing at his butt and saying, does this, <laughs> does this panel make my butt look big? You know? Oh, my God. <laughs> <I'm lying. laughs> Robots in disguise. <laughs> That's what my panel will be called next year. <laughs> you, You're welcome. Does this panel make my butt look big? Where you can go oh, with butt shots. <laughs> Instead of butt shots. Because it's about pictures of butts. I have definitely said butt butts before Tra I said butt yeah, butts. Transform no. butt butts. No. Oh my god. We'd have to come up with a new character called Plug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, let's, put a, let's put a semicolon and just like add a bunch of butt puns. To <laughs> Cybertron. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> now there has to be an official bot bot that turns into a little miniature ass. You know, it's like. No. Oh, yeah. We have oh. to. Is, is there a peach? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> he just turned upside down like they do. Yeah, Christian, what have you heard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed of you guys. No, you're not. No, you're Chris, not. Christian is our resident bot bot expert, so bot bot expert. But Transformers butt lords. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was on the arcade mini games today. There it brings Joe. a whole new meaning to Nugget. <laughs> For those of you who don't get it, that's a rock lord. So oh, therefore, it was a joke. Nugget was a robot. Uh, he was a robot. <laughs> and voice by Roddy McDowell. He's dead now. He's been dead for years. <laughs> Thank you. That was Margaret Where? Hare. She was in that too. Oh, Debbie Towner. He's <laughs> 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 just instant with the he's dead now. He's dead. Thanks. Thanks. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> now I'm not so sure. You were really quick to say I'm, that he's dead. I'm, I'm starting to wonder. <laughs> Reopen the investigation. <laughs> real, real quick. Uh, Statue Luke, limitations. Are you, are you the Zodiac Killer? Is that... Statue limitations. We finally caught him, everybody. <laughs> Lucas, uh, what are we doing on time as far as... Uh, uh... Uh, so we have three minutes left. So... Okay. 
Well, if we got any good world. content, you better better say something about. <laughs> well, before we'll before this we, going, bef- whatever this is, yeah, before we can come we, about robots, but if you. <laughs> Before we wrap, I want to uh, uh, invite everybody, if you're a fan of TFYLP and love what we do, uh, you can go to um, patreon.com slash TFYLP and help support us uh, each and every month. Because quite frankly, without uh, the support of our great fans out there, this show could not and would not be here. Uh, Because, you know, server costs are expensive. Software is expensive. You know, and this is a money losing venture for for pretty much all of us. So, you know, we got to be able to make up for that somehow. So uh, thank you for each and every one of you that helps to continue to support us each and every month. Uh, As always, you can follow us on Twitter, uh, uh, tftalk.net, the website. You can download uh, old episodes, uh, watch new episodes. Uh, And as always, Lucas, you want to take it away with uh, the Tuesday offering? Yeah, so on Tuesdays, we also, on the tftalk.net uh, Facebook page, we have a live toy review show called Microcasters. Uh, that's 10 o'clock on Tuesdays. And uh, typically, Anna, Christian, and I and then um, are on the show. And then every once in a while, we'll uh, throw in somebody like Duran or Rick. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I, I have no idea what we're doing this week. Do we, do we know yet? Uh, a robot? We're doing a robot this week. Yes. Um, so, yeah, but yeah, join us uh, at 10 o'clock rock on Lord. Tuesdays. Can we do a rock lord? Sure. See, sounds, perfect. Sounds, sounds good to me. Yep. Rock, rock, rock 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 work. So, I feel like the only thing this is missing is a brought to you by the grant from the MacArthur Foundation and the support from viewers like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Right? <laughs> yes. But, uh, but as always, though, you can, uh, you can uh, follow us on our Facebook page. Uh, that's where most of the uh, information comes out at, you know, so. What's Facebook? Facebook, yeah. <laughs> it, I, well, we don't I'm have kidding. one. We don't have one anymore now because Optimus Prime took our face. Aww. <laughs> yep. So instead of dropping the the, you just drop the face. It's just book. Yes. <laughs> Well, you can't find me at all their stuff. You can find me at Epic Voice Scout and everything. So, oh yeah, yeah, John has stuff. Yeah, I have stuff. I'm on TikTok now, which is great. Uh, very, uh, by the way, there's not that many Transformers things going on in TikTok right now, so Transformers fans need to freaking get on there. Uh, yeah, it's at, at the Epic Voice Guy, not the with two E's Pick Guy. Like everybody keeps confusing. Like, who uses the word T H E E anymore? What am I freaking Shakespeare over here? It's not the pick guy. Rick does because he's the Rick oh, Alvarez. Oh, mother's drapes. Like it's the epic voice guy. <laughs> so uh, wrap us up, Lucas. Uh, uh, what uh, what is? Yes, I'm putting you on the spot because you're live and everybody can see you. Who's next to die? I'm on the spot. Let's say what? What do you think of me? You want us to wrap up with, with some sort of like big comment? <laughs> yeah, so, sorry, what are we supposed to be doing here? You're, we're suppo- doing you're supposed to be rapping. Can't you? Right, come on, dude. Can't you freestyle? Come on. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know. Know. So um, I, I would say that for our audience tonight, thank you for joining us uh, for our live TFYLP and for uh, participating as well. So appreciate your guys' feedback. Thank the audience, too. All you guys. Yeah, thank you, audience. Yeah, and thank you. Audience. We want to say done. that if you if you find yourself in need of a you know smaller, more cozy Transformers convention type event in the Midwest, this is a great event. It is always lots of fun, and you know we've had a great time and everything. And sad to see it ending, but glad that we could talk to you all live from the event. So Absolutely. sorry, you're too late for this one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could have been always, here, but you're always not. next year. And we we'll also want to thank TF Expo for giving us this time and uh, being able to uh, interact with the fans and, uh, and expose the fans to our, our debauchery. Whoa, whoa, we're not exposing anything here. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know. We exposed, we exposed <laughs> them to Christian over here, you know. <laughs> All right, guys. That's thank tough. you, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you Thanks, next guys. week on TFYLP. <laughs> Good night. All right. uh, quick question. Uh, stay in school. I try to look at the YouTube channel for TFYLP. I'll, 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 I'll give we'll it help you. Okay, thank you. All right. 
All right, we'll see you next time on CFLP. Keep saying, Good night, everybody.